Let me tell you something. I like The Office. I know, I know, you don't have to thank me for my service. However, one of the things I like most about it is Steve Carell. Steve Carell seems to be a hilarious comedian who, behind the camera, seems to be a nice, humble guy. I watch movies with Steve Carell all the time, and I haven't seen all of them, but I believe I found his best performance. Steve Carell's performance in The Way Way Back seems to be his best one. Think of your favorite Steve Carell performance. No normally, he plays very small but outrageous characters. Think of Michael Scott. Think of Gru. Think of whoever you want. Let me turn that on its head for you, and let me show you Steve Carell's Trent in The Way Way Back, possibly his best performance. In order to understand this performance, you have to understand the movie. The Way Way Back was a coming-of-age story written by the guys who wrote The Descendants. As actors themselves, they were able to make sure that every actor in the film was well-casted, well-acted, and well-done. Hence, Steve Carell as Trent. Steve Carell here plays the boyfriend of the main character's single mother. He can be a jerk, he can pretend to be nice, and he plays it all well. Every line he speaks is spoken with emotion and an understanding for the character. Michael Scott is nowhere to be found. The movie itself is mostly unimaginative. It doesn't take enough risks. One of the things I think the movie needed most was more of Anna Sophia Robb's character, actually. Another thing it really, really, really desperately needed was a lot more character development and more background and more character arcs. Trent is given very little. He has no monologue about what's important to him. He has no background whatsoever, and he is always viewed from the angle of a teen boy. He's never on camera by himself. This must have been one of the hardest movies for any actor to pull off, because none of them actually get a character. All they get is a certain type of emotion or angst. And the thing is, the actors are asked to carry the film on their back. And Steve Carell, by himself, carries the film on his back. His character shines through. As I said, it's not Michael Scott. It's very, very different from anything he's ever done before. In just a few scenes, he was able to deliver the best performance in his entire career, and maybe of his lifetime. Guys, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I have a lot of cool stuff coming up in the coming days, and I would really like it if you would subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Thank you guys. I'm Dylan Goler. Keep on geeking on.